pain never goes away. It shifts through like blood running down from a wound, and this wound is deep. So deep that the blood trickles and runs just like I do. You see, for some of us, we know the pain like it's friendship. But for others, it's marriage, with divorce an impossibility. So I have to wonder, how does heaven deal with an overflow of souls arriving before their time? We're ahead of schedule because they were victims of the evil that men do. It's hardly breaking news that the value of black lives are in tatters. With the release of the newest viral video, the anger spirals. We pick up placards calling for justice because we're tired of living in a hospice. I mean living in a country where the authorities stay asleep to the fact that parents are planning their children's wake. No disrespect, but I don't need y'all telling me to stay woke. I'm not in a coma. Our dead bodies are not meant to be exhibited like a gallery at the MoMA. This is real life. We protest in anger at those men to protect and salve because them hunting us is really nothing new. Just a sad precedent. It's backward like watching the Secret Service kill the president and the media where they swam around the scene like a honeycomb with bees and you see them running commentary on the battles between both sides. It feels like a game. And in games, they call plays. And plays, well, they're scripted. And in this one, everyone plays their role so well. Even the grand jury delivers the same line of not guilty. When the glove fits, they still acquit. When there's video, they still don't convict. Our outrage is just a story on the front page. And we need to do more than just talk if we want change. We can't move on because Erica Garner can't. We can't move on because Diamond Reynolds can't. We can't move on because the family of Sandra Bland can't. I say her name because although we empathize deeply, grief is not a friend that shares your couch. It's more like a lover that cuddles with you in your arms, waking you up like insistent snoring or sirens at 3 a.m. You don't get to run away from grief. And after each protest, we go back to the cycle of living our lives Like we did when Amadou Diallo died Like we did when Eric Connor died Like we did when Oscar Grant, Alton Stalin, Philando Castile died Their names reeled off like a film, only like this is real life What good is a wave of outrage without sustained action? So join me in running Whether you're black, white, or any color under the sun We should all be running not away from but to the issue we can't keep treating police brutality like a substitute teacher when it's in fact the principal racial profiling stop and frisk harassment and other variations of systemic oppression aren't new just more viral we were being capped before Kaepernick and change will require us to stay on the issue and not vote for mayors, presidents and other politicians that play lip service but drive away from the issue like it's a car service we Need to make them implement laws that matter. Laws that old law enforcement officials will use unnecessary force accountable. Laws that don't justify every force by the police as necessary, even when it isn't. Laws that address the blatant and sometimes invisible systemic racism that is interwoven into the very fabric of America's psyche. You need to understand that some of us have had Instances with law enforcement officials where we've been treated like three-fifths of a man So don't minimize my trauma by telling me they were just bad apples Or attempt to appease the anger with a passive admission of an inept system That's not enough Listen, it's not about blue versus black But we keep getting killed in a way that feels like them versus us Outrage is a story on the front page we need to do more than just talk if we want change Outrage is a story on the front page hey. We need to do more than just talk if we want change So till it stops I'm running Run into her even if society tries to stop me and tells me to move on Even if the viral videos causes trauma that feels all consuming I am running to her because I have to I have to, we all have to 
say her name and say his name till we don't have to anymore. So even when the protest press and the outrage on the front page fades away, the pain never does. Outrage is a story on the front page. Hey. We need to do more than just talk if we want change. Change.